while they're drying. That would be bad. That would be very bad. I don't even know how I'm supposed to do this. I, I don't want them to fly away. Maybe I could put them in the box while they're drying. It's so quiet. Usually I'm listening to music. Sitting down comfortable, nice and warm. But no, I wanted to be outside in the snow for you guys today. Which is perfectly fine with me. Alright, while that's drying, I am going to go in with the KKW mascara in black. I like this. I would rather the Better Than Sex mascara. You all know what kind of mascara that is. It's great mascara. Let's coat my eyelashes. This is going to help the eyelashes stick to my eyes. These eyelashes are already used, so they are cut to my eyelash shape. I do have very round, big eyes. So most eyelashes I do have to cut. This is going to be... Well, my last video was 48 minutes long. Don't blow away, don't blow away. So this one is the quickest one that I did. I think the other one was longer because I did do the review on the Morphe Fluidity Foundation retails for $18 and the primer retails for $12 really great foundation all right while those are drying I am what am I gonna do nothing I'm gonna put the eyelashes on because I don't want them to dry too much get my mirror grab the first one that I did because the glue, actually, yeah, the glue is drying pretty, pretty well. Don't put too much glue because then you can uh, have those glue lines on your eyes. And it doesn't look pretty. Always put it closest to your lash line. That way it looks more natural. Use those together. There's one. Oh, the water for my eyes did not ruin it. They're actually sticking pretty well. They're very beautiful. They look very natural. I think that's why it's called Naked Drama. Put on my other eyelash. For some reason, I always have trouble with this eye. Putting on anything. Oh, jeez, there's a big gust of wind coming. Close your eyes, close your eyes, close your eyes. Oh boy. Oh, I did it. Now you just gotta make sure there's no gaps. Oh, my eyes watering again. Oh. See what I do for you guys just to get subscribers. All right, this I think this is going to be the toughest part. This is where I do I'm going to fix my my under eye. I'm going to put the powder on and then once I put that powder on and my eyes water, that's it. It's done. It's over with. There's no going back and fixing that. Mind you, it is getting darker. It's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. The clouds are getting darker. I think it's supposed to snow again. I gotta try to get this eye to stop watering. You know what I gotta do? I gotta take this mascara and make sure these eyelashes do not come off. Oh, I am freezing. 
I'm just living with the fact that my, now my, that my knit fingertips are frozen, I'm just going to leave it that way. I'll warm them up later. Alright, so now I am going to go back in with the Instant Age Rewind and do the under eyes. Just because my eyes have been watering. Tip of my nose. Lip. Here. And here. Just to give it that fuller coverage that I'm going to need. Because my eyes are watering. Oh, it just watered. Oh my god. I'm too afraid to do... Whatever. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, right? Hopefully it don't separate. Ooh, it didn't. But my eyes still watering. The thing about beauty blenders is it soaks up the water. This challenge has been a pain in the butt since I started. There's so many times I had to clear my phone because there wasn't enough storage. I had to stop and plug in my phone because my battery was dying. You know how many times I've tried filming this? Now I know what YouTube gurus go through. But you know what? They're not doing it off their phone. They're doing it off these nice cameras that I wish that I had because it would make my life so much easier. Alright, now that that's on, I am going to go in with the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I don't have under eye powder, like baking powder, because I don't have money for it. So I'm going to do the best that I have. Snow just fell all over my face. Oh my god. This is going to be so hard. Alright, I work with me here. And I'm just going to go full face in. I was going to do um, cream contour, but I'm freezing. I don't want to hurry up and get this done. Oh my god. Blooper. Except for my bloopers don't get edited out. Mine stays. I have a, um, Oh, what do you call it? Oh, what is it called? A brightening powder for under my eyes. That way, this all goes together. And it actually looks like I put under concealer on. My neck. Not bad for rushing, huh? Alright. Let's find this under eye powder. I have powder all over my arm. My beauty blender just looks dry. <laughs> brightening powder. All right. For the brightening powder, I'm gonna take this. Is the Jaclyn Hill J H J J H J H O seven. And it's got a tip like that. Best for under eye powder. I'm just going to dip my brush in it. It looks like this. I'm going to brighten under my eye. I think because my eye is wet, it looks weird. It's kind of got like this pink tone to it. Sponge, sponge, sponge. Soak up that powder. I mean, water. Put some on the tip of my nose, on my forehead, and on my chin, to give it that contour look. Now I have water going down my face. This is what I was worried about. It's going to look so horrible. But I'm going to keep on going. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to act like it's not even there. Contour. I'm going to take the BH Cosmetics. It's my Ray Ray. This is 21 Eye Shadow Colors, Highlighter, and Contour Palette all in one. This stuff is great. I use this every day. 
very worn out. I'm going to take this shade right here and do my contour with it. I'm not going to go all the way down because it will give you too much of a cut brow bone, brow bone, cheekbone. And then come up on the sides. Oh, my hands are so numb, guys. Under my chin. It'll give me the not fat look chin look. Instead of the double chin, it will... Oh my god, I got something on my face. You know what? I'm going to act like it's not even there. I got a double chin, so this contouring under my chin won't make me look so double chinny. Cross my forehead so I don't have such a big forehead. Come on, girls, you all know that you cut your forehead to make it look smaller. See, with this lighting out here, I can't tell if I'm going too dark or not. You know what? You see that? There we go. Alright, for my nose, I'm going to get a smaller brush, which is this bad boy right here. It's actually a nose contouring brush. This is the Jaclyn Hill number 10. It's a contour brush. I think it's specifically for your nose. It's perfect line. Look at that. I'm going to bring it up to my brow. It's not going to look like this. I'm going to blend it out. All oh, the wind is pecking up. This is not good. I need a better blending brush. Guys, this is horrible. Um, what am I going to use? Um, the same one that I did my crease with. I'm going to blend this out. It's not blending. I think my nose was still too wet. There we go. Not bad. Oh my god, another gust of wind is coming. Hold on. Did you see the snow fall down? Alright. What's next? Blush. Blush is next. I am going to go in with... I'm missing a palette. You know what? I'm just going to go in with the It's My Ray Ray again. It has a nice color, like a, almost like a reddish color. It's called Tiffany. This one right here. I think that'd make a good blush. I'm going to go in with the Jaclyn Hill 04. It's a blush brush. I'm hoping that it's not going to be too dark. Maybe dust some of the excess off, add some light color to it. Could have been lighter. But it just looks like I've been out in the snow. My face is red. Tip of my nose actually does look like I've been out in the snow. Look at that. My face is red like I've been out in the cold. I actually don't mind that look. It doesn't look too bad at all. It looks really, really good. Alright, next, highlighter. Like I said, I'm going to try to go as fast as I possibly can. I got a highlighter brush. I just got to find it. I think I forgot it. You know what? I'm just going to take this brush. This is the KKW Concealer Foundation Concealer and Brightening Powder Brush. But it works great for highlighter. 
and I'm going to take their highlighter bra, uh, highlighter, KKW's highlighter, and this is the Glitz and Glam. It's so beautiful. It's not too shiny either. It's like perfect. And I'm going to put some here. Give me that sun kiss glow. Some on my forehead. It'll give you that natural glow. Seeing as how I did all this powder, I don't have that natural glow right now. Because I covered it up. And because it's so cold outside, my face is not oily. It actually dried it up really bad, even though I did all that stuff to my face before putting the makeup on. Down my nose, on the tip of my nose, and then my cupid's bow. I've been filming for over an hour, pausing in between, but my camera only says 35 minutes. That's pretty good. My cheek. Now I just gotta put some color under my under eye, do the bottom mascara, and it is done. Alright, so I'm gonna go back in with the Morphe palette and do that dark brown that I used on my eyes and do under me. And for the brush I'm going to use. Sorry that I'm sniffling a lot, I'm just really cold. I'm gonna use the Jaclyn Hill JH42 brush. It's small like that. It's supposed to be for you know what I forgot? Brow bone. I can't forget my brow bone. Oh, I am blocking you guys' view. I'm so sorry. Yeah. And then my inner corner. I don't know how well that's going to work since my eyes have been watering like crazy. Oh, not too bad. What, what? You can actually see the tear coming down my face. I need to stop that. Stop it, I. This is what you get for doing your makeup out in the cold. All right, so now I'm gonna take that same brush. I'm just gonna dust it off real quick and go in with that same Morphe palette and go into the dark brown, which is right here. And I'm gonna do underneath my eyes. The looks we get when we do our under eye too, priceless. Let me give it that look. It looks so pretty. Now normally I would do a better eye than this, but because I'm so cold, I'm just trying to hurry up. This challenge is really, really, really getting the best of me. But you know what, I do it for you guys. Now, time for under eye mascara. For the under eye, I'm not going to use the KKW because it is too thick. I am going to go in with the Grande Mascara Lash Boosting Formula. It's got a smaller brush, and it's not so clumpy. See what I mean? Uh, look at that. I didn't want that much. Alright, there you go. And it gives you that soft eye with still a lot of volume. Like, look at 